Hello, can anyone hear us? We're having trouble with the audio. Hopefully you can now. Hello everyone, um, I've just realised, I've not I've just seen a few of the comments and people are talking about <laughs> season two, which is obviously natural because you, you haven't ever seen it, have you? No. Uh, which is Strangest Things, and um, but I haven't seen it all yet, I'm, I'm, few, I'm not on episode four, so um, so yeah, I'm going to avoid looking at the comments and Stuart, don't give away anything if anyone's going to okay. give away the end of season two, because I haven't seen it. Yeah, no spoilers please, people. Yeah. Um, Hello, anyway, um, very quickly before we begin, uh, we had some new names who joined us on Tuesday for our live Halloween ghost hunt. Right. Um, and a lot of people guessed quite early on that no, it wasn't live. We did intend to do it live, didn't we? Yeah. But the problem is, is that, um, I've got someone who had this little box which we can load our mobile data cards in and therefore it's meant to give us a constant... Um, Wi-Fi signal so we could stream from Peter's mobile phone and use the other Wi-Fi box. But we had problems setting that up. So we thought, well, rather than it all go wishy-washy on the night, and because we wanted to produce something for Halloween, we did hype it up as a live ghost hunt. Um, but we obviously wanted to record a, a horror movie for Halloween. Yeah. But that said... We're not actually anti doing a live ghost hunt. No, I think it's a good idea. I, I think, think we should do that. Yeah, I think we should. I mean, I don't know if anyone in here. We've got some loads of new names in here actually. Um, okay. Dino King five six eight three, Giovanni Edgar, um, Craving Skate. Hello, the place. Hello, um, they're regulars uh, to our, our streams. Um, Fox King, I think that's quite a new name. Uh, King King Wolf's twenty three. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've got some new names. But, yeah, I don't know what people um, think about us doing a live ghost hunt, for real. It was scary. There was scary was, things actually Yeah, it was some quite creepy well. stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. Like that creaking noise, that was yeah. actually there, wasn't it? And there was that, yeah, there was that, that creaking noise. There was definitely, there was, like, movement in the bushes. No. That sound of bushes moving I mean, it could have been us. badgers or something like that. But. Yeah, but when you can't see them mm. or see anything, it is really creepy. Um, so, yeah, so today we will be making one of the creatures from Strange Things, which I can't remember its name. It's not Ben Walsham, but hi, Ben. What's the name of the thing? Oh, you wouldn't know, would you? What's the, what's the name of the thing from the strangest, Strange Things? There's something. Hang yeah, on. Can't remember its name. What is Stranger Things? Is it a Netflix thing? The Demo Gorgon. Yeah. Um, it's basically a combination of. Um, all of your classic 80s films wrapped in a new sort of sci-fi series. So it has a real feel of um, like Spielberg stuff, uh, The Thing, um, all sort of the supernatural kind of things like Poltergeist. It's got all those sort of styles to it. And it's about four kids and this uh, other dimension that they keep slipping into sort of thing. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. And it's on Netflix, though. It's on Netflix, yeah. yeah. Why don't you just get Netflix? like 10 quid a month or something. Yeah, well, on top of the uh, all the other money. Well, well, you just get rid of Sky, because Sky's rubbish. Um, yeah, no, I, I like okay. my Sky. Um, I'm going to uh, switch yes, over. Demigorgon. 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 Gorgon. Um, Gorgon. Think... Yeah. Okay, so here's ZBrush, or ZBrush if you're in America. And I'm going to just... I mean, we're not going to complete this today, because again, these sort of creatures are always a little bit more... You can't knock them out in an hour. And we have only got an hour today. We're in fact, yes. we've got 50 minutes now, because it's now seven, uh, 5.37. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to sketch out the main kind of bulk of it, like the shape of it, but the details will have to wait. We've still got Pennywise to finish. Oh, uh, yeah. In fact, you still haven't brought around the 3D prints from the last two we've done either. Oh, God. Um, Rick it, Ralph, and... Um Ultraman. Yeah. I keep, yeah, because yeah, that's another thing we should apologise for is our lack of um, updates and um, and uh, like live streams because we've been so busy doing just, well, there's that uh, joint... There's that collaboration. Collaboration, on, yeah. That we're doing. Which I know that's moving forward now because you've got some of the information you needed. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, well, obviously, and we did believe it or not, we did an awful lot of work on that Halloween, yeah, um, uh, movie type thing. Um, if I'm just oh no, I've got the mask, but it's in the garage. I was gonna say it was down there, but it's not anymore. So I'm just making his head at the moment, which obviously just looks like a beach ball or something, but hopefully. It will end up looking more like the creature that you see on the thumbnail when we started. Um, but by the way, the, the creature was designed, I think he's um, from Thailand, the guy that actually designed the creatures on in Stranger Things. So that concept art, this concept art here, let me just switch over again. This concept art is actually from the, film, uh, from the TV series. That is actually the creature from the TV series. It's not like someone's fan art. That is actually the guy that made it. That is the actual sculpt from the um, from the film. I keep saying film because it is like a film. Like it's really, yeah, it's really, really cool. Is it a TV drama, is it? Would you say is it is a sci-fi drama? Or no, sci-fi. Sci-fi drama. Yeah, to it's totally sci-fi, yeah. Sci-fi slash light horror kind of. Um, Dead Gaming 2.5 Hey Bubblegum Monsters did you get my email about Boris the Wolf Ooh, no I didn't no I can't I can't recall oh is it, oh is it a piece of artwork because I did see someone sent through a piece of artwork but unless it was that um, I know that uh, I think the Diamond Sheep has been sent oh, no, yeah, some it was Diamond uh, Sheep, yeah. artwork because um, also wasn't it who's it who still hasn't received their poster I saw they said they still haven't received their poster oh uh, Sister Bonnie Productions right so I'm I'm on that this weekend. I'm going to be doing what we call housekeeping. I'm going to go through and make sure that everything is um, yeah. uh, been sorted. But the the issue, I think, the one of the the problems we we have is sending stuff to America. If we haven't got the correct full address, that's the the problem. I don't think always we've received a, a full address. Right. And obviously, I wouldn't know if the address is full or not. Yeah. Whereas if it was one in this country, I'd go, oh yeah, that's that's something wrong here, and I could chase it. But obviously, we're going, you know, but based on what people are, are, are putting and then sending yeah. it off, and not you're not receiving them. Um, the most iconic thing about the demigorgon is the opening of its mouth. That was Giovanni Edgar saying that. Yep, and actually, yeah, the first image on that is with its mouth open. So maybe, maybe we do it with its mouth open. Because that's the thing, you're right, it is just kind of like just a cyborgy type alien thing without its mouth open. Uh, Craving Skate's been here for almost two hours. Wow. Yeah, that's, that, dedication. that's dedication. <laughs> nice one. Um, uh, the place, you guys are almost at 60k. I um, mm -hmm. guess he's referring to the subs. So it actually, it, it slowed down for a little while and it, it, it's, it's built up again quite quite yeah. quickly. It's sort of up, up and down, up and down with the uh, subscriber count. Um Du, du, du. So yeah, what are we gonna? Um... Annual girl 007 AJ. Hi, that's, that's a new name. name. Hello, that boy says are you a James Bond fan. Oh, or are you just a secret agent? So NTSF Ben says random thing, but your logo's still on my wall. Yay! Yay. <laughs> that was wicked. When we saw yeah. that, that was amazing. That I was absolutely she hasn't scrubbed blown it off away. Yet. You can do the. Um, do you remember? Um, so I'm just playing around with his knees, but I'm just yeah. Bugsy Malone when they do that thing with the across their arms. Oh yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the fun you can have. I'm surprised you didn't start off with the humanoid figure. Well, I was gonna, um, but then I just thought, you know, it's always best to sort of show different techniques, and we have done this technique before, but you know. It's just uh, it's quite cool to. Yeah, what is this one? This is not your normal ball one either, is it? Isn't it? Uh, I think it is. No, no, you normally just start with one great. Big oh yeah, yeah, one yeah. big ball. Yeah, this is Z spheres or Z spheres, and they're just kind of like they're not. You can't really model with them at the moment. They're just kind of like a um. Oh, what do you call them? What do you call it a armature. Oh. Kind of thing, and then. Funny enough, I knew what you meant yeah. when you're doing that, but I could I didn't know the name of it either. And then what you do is you just. Uh, Sort of add a bit of sort of it sort of adds a bit of clay kind of stuff over the top, and then you can start from there. But at the moment, it's just mainly you're just getting in your kind of pose and your main features. It's, it's quite interesting because Animal Girl actually said um, uh, she, she's a secret agent. That'd be 
cool if you are. That would be wicked, wouldn't it? Although not very secret, really, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okie dokie. Right. Um, what's Craven Skate? You're going on about the Dungeons and Dragons. What what name were you referring to on the the D and D? Do you remember Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, the reason why he's talking about Dungeons and Dragons is because it's in the it's in Strange Things. That's what they play a lot. Right. So the Demogorgon okay. Gorgon is in Dungeons and Dragons. So they this creature they call him the Demogorgon because it's like the biggest the monster they got to fight. But obviously, I don't actually know what the real name of it is in the film because I don't think they've actually got a real name for it. But that's what the kids have sort of named it because it's kind of scary and a bit like the thing out of Dungeons and Dragons. Dead Gaming 2.5 is saying on the ghost hunt video did you guys see a ghost? Uh, well apart from ever so often seeing Stuart in sort of bright light from the uh, from the torches which was pretty scary no we didn't actually see a ghost but we did hear some str- we did hear some strange noise and actually at times it was actually quite creepy it was it was really creepy uh, like I said we would like to do a, a proper one um, maybe not not as long perhaps like a, a half hour stream or something like that because we've got to think of data as well and or, uh, and streaming and it, yes it's a little bit more complicated but this little box um, I've got from one of my contacts from years ago um, he's been uh, in the broadcast industry so I, I sort of gave him a call and essentially it will allow us to have outside broadcast um, it's the same as the sort of TV networks would use when they do outside broadcasting, but then they're broadcasting back to normally an OB truck, which then transmits. But we only need to get it as far as the mobile phone, so hopefully it will work. We've got some practicing to do on that. What was it says about, and also to do with the Halloween um, video, I will, I'm, I, it, it, you won't, won't be able to find it at, at the moment on, um, on the channel. It's not on there because I've unlisted it. Just because that was the live one, and we felt yeah. like that was for the people that tuned in, um, deserve to see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, sl- uh, a shorter version because it's an hour long that one, and just sort of the main highlights of it. Yeah, where well, make like, it into like a mini movie. A mini movie, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Craven Skate, excuse me, uh, Craven Skate says uh, Demogorgon, also known as Tulip Head, which is a fan created name. Oh right. Um, will you make the Tessel Hydra 2? Is that... Hang on, what one's that one? Is, is that, have I pronounced that right? T-H-E-S-S-A-L Hydra? Is that the little Tessel creature Hydra? with the four legs? Because um, I was thinking of doing that, um, but I haven't yet. And uh, maybe, but I've got to watch the whole season. I haven't watched it all yet, uh, so don't give away too much. Because <laughs> uh, there's the shadow monster as well, which is like a giant octopus. Uh, so maybe, yeah, maybe we just do all of them because I don't think there's that many creatures in it. Fernando Caramoy's in the room. Yay! Yay Fernando! What time is it at the moment there? Probably about, what, 12, 1? Something uh, like that. Five, yeah, about 12, 12, quarter to 1, I think. He really is dedicated, isn't he? Yeah. And he started a new job as well. Has he? Mm. Well, he's been, he's been in it for about a month now. But, um... You know about it. It's almost like you're just like everywhere. You just know about it. <laughs> Omnipresent. Um, oh, I, I pronounced Tessel Hydra too. Uh, uh, yes, you pronounced it perfectly. There we go. So it is the te- Tessel Hydra. Uh, da, 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 da. And the room's just chatting to itself. Good. She's good. Is Rebecca in the room? No, she's not. I wonder what's happened to Rebecca. Maybe she got caught by a ghost. Um, Treasure Creeper. Hello. That's a good name. I think you. you I think you're a new name as well. I haven't come across you before. We, I know that we we are, are or have got a few new names. We had some new names in on our live ghost hunt, um, which would have been great to actually talk to you guys. Um, that is the one disadvantage of having it being pre-recorded, wasn't it? That yeah. we couldn't actually talk to you. Uh, Hopefully, if everything works out well, we do when, do a ghost when hunt. When would we do the next ghost hunt, though? Uh, I don't, I don't know. To be honest, would be good. I think like Christmas is always a good ghosty time as well, isn't it? I think you're thinking a nightmare before Christmas. 
No, like it, when they're on TV around Christmas, time, they always have ghost stories. Oh, well, you, well, you got yeah, because I mean, you got um, Scrooge, didn't you? Well, uh, yeah, that as well. But like Christmas past, generally, Christmas there's always a scary. I don't know why it is. I must admit, I don't understand what the whole haunted thing with Christmas is. But they, you, they do it every year. Every year on TV, you always have like, a few ghost story things around Christmas. I don't know why. I'm not noticed that. No, mm, okay. but then to say that, I, obviously, I'm not looking out for it, am I? Why not? To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just, uh, just like I said, I'm just bulking it out at the moment. We're going to sort of then, sort of then add in a bit more detail. See, it doesn't look like a load of ping pong balls joined together. Um, so I hope it will start taking shape. But we're not going to finish it today. There's no way I'm going to be able to get this done today. But what we have started to try and do, though I haven't managed to do it um, very well for the last few weeks, was finishing it off uh, offline and then doing a video for everyone where it's a shortened down, condensed yeah. version. So again, people that aren't watching it live can then sort of have a catch up and see what, what we've been doing. Well, because we were going to add the 3D prints to that as well, weren't we? Yeah. So we do like a time lapse yeah. of the 3D printing. Yeah, because anyone that's new to this, when we've made the model, we 3D print it as well. Oh, because we've got quite a shelf, a shelf full now, haven't we? We have, yeah, and we've got two more to go on it. Yep. Um, Treasure Creeper, what program are you using? I'm using a program called ZBrush. Is it in the description? Have you got? I did very briefly put it in the description, just saying Pixelogic ZBrush. But yeah, oh, we yeah. need to put in all the links and if we haven't done that yet. Do that. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna, I think that's kind of what I want. His legs are probably a bit short and. There needs to be a bit more work with my hair, but this will do for now. We're just we're just going to add a bit more. We got Dead Gaming, who's just reached forty subscribers on oh, your nice channel. One. Well done. And Craving Skate, who's just re reached fifty subscribers on his channel. Uh, and he's also going to make a Demogorgon drawing, and he's going to send it into send it into us. Oh, cool. um, so remember guys if you're sending us in your artwork to feature in the bubblegum gallery um, email it bubblegummonsters at gmail.com and remember to put gallery in the subject line now that's the important bit because that means it will escape our spam filters because if you attach put attachments on it and our the uh, email then it ends up in you pressed the space bar oh did I? I bet, I bet it is oh no it might be because I changed this but I didn't think that would I turned the monitor off ok ah there you go see if that is that back yeah yeah we're back we're back we're back ok um, 
<laughs> oh, Scottish Geeks has just joined us. Thanks, Me. Uh, Scottish Geeks, and thank you for joining in on the fun on Tuesday night. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, Giving it away with his um, Rent Ghost. Oh yeah. What was it? He says, oh, what flavour you got? And seeing something from Rent a Ghost. Yeah. The the cheers, cheers, Derek. The, f- <laughs> the funniest thing was um, about when he said, just look for Stuart's I know, Stuart. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> If anything really does happen on a live ghost hunt, that is what I'm going to do. Well, just look for my vape. Yeah. But it'll probably be a ghost there, just sort of like. (laughs) You'll be dead on the floor. Uh, Right, so. Let's start. Oh, so I missed that, because so. What what did you do to. I just. uh, Being them. It's rings. just literally, it's literally a little button that you go down here, and you just change it from um, Z spheres. Where is it going? I can't remember. A uh, skin. You just had it like a skin to it. Oh right. It's not that one. Though. I can't remember it is now. It's along here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. That's weird. It's almost like I didn't even realise I was doing it. And now I can't find it. I can't find That's because you're looking for it, innit? I bet you. Yeah. Uh, you just, just don't. But no, it doesn't matter. Just so that then takes it out of being the Z spheres, and now you said you've got something you can model with. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. Hello, Fernando. I'll carry on. Uh, our Spielder loved our Halloween stream. Oh, that's good. Like, that's the thing. I mean, it, it wasn't live, but hopefully it was still kind of scary and people enjoyed it. I hope. Uh, right, okay, let's. Um, Let's just do our email, people are asking. Our email is bubblegummonsters so you need, uh, at gmail.com. You need uh, old uh, Rebecca here. We do need Rebecca. I wonder if, if Auntie SFM, is she still in the room? Oh, she is, yeah. I'll tell you what. If I'm going to... I'll make um, Auntie SFM a moderator for today. I don't know if she's still. Um, That's if she wants to be. She might go, no, I don't want to be. Well, actually, she won't have to do it. I mean, it's just, I've just. Um, so, uh, oh, Fernando's got a riddle. I think we do. We um, do like our riddles. Yep, yeah, we had that. Uh, Alice Builder wants to know if we'll do a Christmas stream as well. Yeah, uh, Scotch fun. Geek says it was fun to watch. That's good. Um, Did you want us to die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that vibrating? Uh, it's got a strange neck, this thing. I'll just um, increase the neck. Move it up a bit. Yeah, what's the riddle, um, Venendo? I'll start sort of marking in areas where it could be useful to have. Uh, the muscle groups. It's almost like it's got Ooh. two chest plates, isn't it? It's like it's got the first one, and then there's another one. Yeah, he's got kind of like a. He's got like his. Um, pecs there, isn't he? And then he's got like a. Well, I think that's meant to be like his rib cage or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a bit mm. weird. I'm sure you'll be fine, um, Celeste. Just, just, just the usual. Just, just keep an eye on any swearing, uh, caps locks, things like that, and then um, uh, that's that's all you have to do. Don't be too harsh. Um, King of Beans, dude, I'm back. I'm not late. I'm not late finally. Um, but good to see you again, King of uh, King of Bees. Oh yeah, King of Bees. I've just got this vision of them like sitting in their room with bees buzzing all around. <coughs> it's bees, not beans, isn't it? Bees, yeah. Scottish Geeks says, uh, uh, says um, I never saw you finish off uh, Pennywise. No, uh, you're right, it isn't finished. We've been so busy with collaborating with uh, this other YouTuber that we're collaborating with at the moment, and the Halloween, and just, uh, yeah, it just it went a bit crazy. So I was going to try and do it today, but again, with work, I just didn't have time, which is annoying, because I really much prefer to be doing Pennywise than boring work. 
Uh, Industrial Angel, hello. Hey, um, uh, Eric Ramirez Gaming, uh, what you missed? Well, you, you've missed Peter begin the model in um, using Z spheres, and now he's smoothed it, and now he's sculpting. But not much else. No. Um, There's a slight echo it's because it's coming out of the headphones, but I can't. When I turned it off, it, that's when it lost the audio. Episode. Yeah. So I don't know if people can hear the echo, but I don't think they should be able to. But you never know. No, I think it's a bit too distant. Yeah. Um, mind you, what you could do is just plug in a jack. It doesn't have to be your headphones. Yeah, that's true, actually. Um, it doesn't matter. And if, it, if it's bothering people I'll change it but I don't think no I don't think they're even here I mean um, House Builder was saying that uh, Eric's missed an audio failure so we did have a drop out of our audio um, oh Eric Ramirez Gaming do you guys ha have you guys seen my Secrets of the Demon animated trailer no no we haven't seen it yet but we'll be sure to check it out. He reckons it's probably one of the best videos he's made. Oh, awesome. So, I was thinking you've got to keep making them because that's what you learn from your mistakes and uh, just get better. Well, you do just naturally get better and better than what you do. He just sent us a link, I think. Let's check that out. Did Fernando come back with that riddle? I haven't seen him. Uh, he's probably still thinking it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, is his flower mouth going to be open or closed? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go with open. Okay. Uh, we'll do it in a minute, hang on, before Ooh. we go too mad with all the details of the muscles, because it always takes time, and I suppose let's just get the uh, get the flower mouth going, and at least then it kind of look a bit more like a like a demo gorgon, gorgon. Obviously his hands are completely wrong at the moment, but that's okay, I'm just playing around with stuff at the moment, it doesn't have to be exact. Right, so yeah, his mouth is just basically... One, two, three, four, five, I think six. Ah. Kind of what like does that remind me of? Why, what am I yeah, thinking? Yeah, there's definitely something that it... Wait, yeah, I don't know. It's, I think it's out of a computer game, actually, I'm thinking. Of like something like Resident Evil or something. Yeah. I know, I know one of the aliens, didn't they? Yeah, it had... There is a lot of alien influences in the film, in the TV series. Um, so it could be that. He who made it doesn't need it. The person who buys it doesn't want it. Oh, we've had and, this before. Yeah, and the person who uses it doesn't even know what he's using, what is the item. What was it again? It was like Faith or something, wasn't it? Uh... Yeah, Fernando, we've definitely had that before. That riddle. So you might want to... I think people, some people have, have guessed it already. Um, are you guys ready for Christmas? No, I'm never ready for Christmas. It Maybe. usually takes me about... Sort of... Well, I'll rush around at the last minute, literally like... A day before like Christmas Eve, I'll be rushing around buying presents. I think it, I, I can't remember if it was last year. I think it's been the last couple of years actually. I've been all done and dusted like a week before. Oh really? Mm. I didn't actually think you did much Christmas with me. Well, no, because I, I do. I, I only do you Jane to do it. Yeah, I only do uh, uh, for my wife. Yeah, well, I only do shopping for for for, okay. yeah, for her. Um, so you're the, uh, sitting there going, oh, I've done it all, but what no, are you taking your time for, James? She's I'll, rushing around getting everyone's. I'll, I'm always running around Christmas Eve, doing a stocking, you know, buying all the bits for her Christmas stocking, buying all the bits from the kids and the dog for her, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's always, um, I always leave it to last minute, but oh. like, last few years. I think that is the beauty of Amazon Prime. Yeah, no, that is <laughs> true, yeah, that, I always use that now. Um, especially now they do same day delivery on some items I know that's just absolutely wicked are they actually going ahead with that whole thing of the heli the uh, quadcopters coming in and is that actually a real thing I actually thought it was like an April Fool's thing because I can't believe that would actually go ahead it just seems too crazy 
Well, there was there was talk about the fact that um, the experimenting with I think the drivers actually having access to your. Oh house. yeah, no, that's that's been uh, released in America. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, and like, again, I just can't see how that's going to work. Like, there's so many elements here. Like, you have got pets. One, yeah. they could escape. Two, they could attack the person coming into the house. Yeah. And then someone could actually sort of look at your house, might not burgle it there and then. But, but scope then, it out. Yeah, scope it out and know exactly what the layout is. It's just, there's so many things. It's like, there's no way I'd get that. Tell our Derek he's off to do his dishes. Oh, no, nice one, Derek. You always do your dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, very. Uh... Oh, I'll get that in a minute. That's my phone. Yeah. Anti SFM, don't worry, honestly. Um, just just gently remind people uh, no caps, and if they keep doing it, let me know and I'll do something about it. Tell them that you're going to go around the house um, kill them. Uh, Dressed as a man. Uh, da, 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 da. Just realised what I just said doesn't make any sense <coughs> to most people if you don't know what Anti SFM is. Yes, exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, no, you're doing fine. It, it's just, it just means that it just, I don't have to concentrate just solely on the comments if I know that you're, you're kind of managing it. But everyone's behaving themselves in, in here at the moment anyway. Worrying Gollum Channel. Now, I don't think we've had that name in here before, so good hello, name. Good thank you for joining us, and that's a great name. Worrying Gollum Channel. Was that like Gollum from Lord of the Rings? Um... Eric Ramirez has a very good point. He says, one thing I say about dishes, why do the dishes? They're just going to get dirty again. It's like cars. Yeah, why, why wash your car? Slightly different. Just slightly different. In that you have to eat off, you don't eat off your car, well I hope you don't. So it doesn't matter so much if it gets dirty. Whereas I think dishes, yeah, yeah there was just a slight fundamental difference there. <laughs> and Venendo says, yeah, it was coffin. That was the... Coffin. Coffin was the riddle. Oh, was it? Yeah. Person who. Person who. Oh, so it is a different riddle from before. Because that wasn't before. It wasn't coffin before, was it? I don't think so. It was the. What was it? It was the person who is building it doesn't need it. The building it. Making it. Oh, I see. It need right. It. I think meant like coffin, it. as in your coffin. Like your coffin. No. Your mouth. Coffin. Oh, I see. Right. As in. I have heard that riddle before. Box. Actually, yeah. Mm. Can you make a demo dog? A demo dog? A demon dog or...? Because it's Demogorgon, isn't it? I guess people are using that as a Maybe there is a reference, but I don't know if there there is one. It might be. It might be, because I haven't seen all of the season yet, so maybe there is, and someone's just ruined it. That really doesn't matter. It'd be quite cool to see. Z29 is in the room. Hey. And thank you for joining us on Tuesday. Um, Ruining it. Yeah. You guessed pretty on that it was um, uh, a pre-recorded stream. We ha we have explained it why we had to go with a pre-recorded route, um, or why we ended up doing a pre-recorded one because obviously we didn't have an awful lot of time um, to do a proper setup, and we wanted to do a film for Halloween, and we thought Blair Witch style type. Yeah. Um, we did enjoy making it. It was good. Fun. Oh, it was brilliant fun making it. It was scary though, in sometimes in some places. Well, we had that point as well during the night, oh, didn't we? Where yeah. that, um, that well, there was two. There was the horse. Yeah, I was going to say the other one though. And the dog. Yeah, yeah. And it's because it's pitch black. Honestly, it was pitch black. We couldn't see without the lights being on. You couldn't see further than your, you know, tip of your fingers. It was. It really was that dark, especially in the undergrowth, and. Um, we were just minding our own business having a talk and then we panned the light around didn't we yeah. and there was this great big I just saw the reflections the great, great dame wasn't it was it I don't know I just saw his eyes looking at me and then started to bark yeah like and then, great dog that was really someone walking the dog at like I think it was like half nine at night or something wasn't it it was quite late it wasn't early was it as <laughs> builder goes to, he's just saying to Zed yeah you missed you missed an audio for earlier um, right. Um, Was that the highlight of this stream? I, oh, now, Ausbuilder, yeah, I think um, it, 
Yeah, don't be too too angry at Rebecca. Um, I think she was just trying to make because Rebecca was in on it anyway. We need because we needed Rebecca to be in on it um, to again to control the control the room. And I think she was trying to just because you kept on going on and on and on about it being pre-recorded. It was sort of like I think she probably felt it was just ruining the right the, 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 the effect, the, the effect of it. Yeah, so it was meant to be. Try and make it as believable as possible, and um, that's that's probably why she uh, uh, put your your chat into um, or yeah, into shutdown. Uh, Rusty Rocket, I know I've I've seen that name before, so thank you very much for joining us again. Um, I'm not sure. What the oh, like, so. Eric is saying. When he uploads his Secrets of the Demon episode one, right? Um, can he send a picture of the main antagonist, and maybe you can make a bubblegum monster out of it? Yeah, it's in the Halloween spirit. Yeah, that'd be cool. Though Halloween's gone really now, isn't it? We're moving on to fireworks now, aren't we, Guy Fawkes? Can't really do a firework though in Zebrosh, can you? Who no, no, I just meant no, no, because you're referring to everything being Hall It's in the Halloween spirit. Oh, so we've moved right, on yeah, from yeah. Halloween over here. Now it's the next next one is um, uh, Christmas. There you go, Guy Fawkes. Yeah, is our next. Out. Well, that was really the big thing until Halloween started making its way over over here. Well, to be fair, it's not like um, Halloween. Hasn't been around for years. I mean, I used to go trick or treating when I was like seven or eight. Did you not? No. Really? No. Yeah. Um, it has. It's definitely become more popular. Yeah, but everything has, isn't it? Like you look at Father's Day and Mother's Day and everything now. It's all gone a bit crazy. You never, you know, never used to be as much as it is now. Everyone, the advertising in it's just mad. It's always, there's always something like Valentine's Day and. There never used to be as you know the advertising stuff in it. It was never as much as it is now. Was it? Oh no, no, no. I mean, uh, yeah, well, uh, I think every event's over advertised. Yeah. He's got these really high um, clavicle bones, which are the which is your um, what's it called? Collarbone. Collarbone. Um, they're not really sort of weird they're not even they stick out like that kind of thing I was just uh, just uh, we got another new name in the room um, which is quite pertinent for this uh, live bubblegum monster because it's Stranger Things fan channel oh cool so welcome to our uh, stream and um, he's asking what do you guys think of the Demi Dogs so I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, <laughs> I don't so know, people are still saying. referring, and Rusty Rocket is, is quite right. Halloween did actually come from Ireland. Yeah, it did. Hmm. The Demi, Demi Dogs I haven't seen um, because I've watched all of season two yet, and that, uh, it was stupid of me to decide to do a scold yeah. of uh, one of the of the Demi Gorgon because um, yeah, I, I just didn't think. Oh, of course, everyone's going to be talking about season two, and most people probably watched it all now, and I've only watched the first. Um, four, four episodes we've got another new name in it it's quite cool I don't think I've seen this one before yeah. I think I remembered it Chicken Nuggets yeah that's a good name <laughs> that's a really good name um, uh, uh, so like I said earlier I'm not going to complete this today it will be done as a, um, a finished off Afterwards, when we, when we leave, because you've only got an hour, you've got you're out for a meal. I'm going out for a meal, yeah. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, we won't be able to finish it off today. But we'll just keep going with the muscle groups and yeah, just keep, see, keep, see where we go. Keep going, it's all going good. And Dino King actually is um, saying, "Don't talk about that. They haven't finished season one yet." So, oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. Dino, so Dino yeah. King is trying to keep keep yeah. the lid on it. Um, yeah, so actually, uh, and Celeste, anti SFM, if you see anyone giving away what you believe would be spoilers to the Strange Things, you can talk about Strange Things and just like the style of it and things like that, but don't give away any of the plot points. Yeah, no, 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 no. So spoilers. if you see anyone doing that, uh, Celeste, then you can block their chat for a bit. 
But anyway, just just uh, hide the comment. Yeah, I'll hide the yeah. comment. Yeah, and tell them and say don't do that. Yeah, but I think. Uh, but to be fair, everyone's really behaving nice. That's good. Um, yeah, it's just real. Oh, oh, sorry, Stranger Things. I, I I didn't actually mean to. I was trying to do something, and I didn't mean to delete your com <laughs> delete your comment because it, it was just it, it was just being just chatting, and I accidentally deleted his comment it, 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 his comment said it, it was it was nothing um, it was can I undo it I don't know I don't know no I can't um, oh no it, it just it just said oh sorry about the spoiler alert when he was talking about oh, the drugs okay. so it was absolutely harmless um, here's a riddle there's ten fish in a tank three fish drown two are floating five swim away, swim away. how many fish left in the tank. Well, all of them, because they can't. You can't get out of a tank. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's ten. Yeah. Um. So, how many seasons are there so far? Just two. Just two seasons, right? Th this one just came out a few like last week. Hey, DJ KSG, because it, it, do you remember it was KSG Soundgarden? Yeah, yeah. He's now changed his name to DJ a, KS, KSG. DJ. He's, yeah, it's full DJ. Yeah. Um, so actually, KSG, he didn't he do the, the the song? No, he did the sound effects for us, didn't he? Yeah. Or did he do it? I think he did. The, the song no, he did the song as well. Yeah. I'm sure it was. That was. I get confused now because you, you keep changing your name. Um, <laughs> Oh, I won't read that out because I think that could be a, a, a spoiler. David Harbour, who plays Hopper, hin yeah. hinted this Rusty Rocket. David Harbour, who plays Hopper, hinted that there will be a season three. Oh yeah, there's got. To, well, I haven't seen the end of season two, so I don't know. But I'm imagining there would be. I, but yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, DJ KSG goes. Yeah, I'm a DJ now. Uh, Stranger Things fan channel can't wait for season three. There you go. So hopefully there will be. I have to. I, yeah, I wonder if um, I could speak to my brother because he's got. Um, yeah, if he's got a Netflix account, I think you can. Cause you can have more than one person watching. But I don't know if it uses like your uh, URL, or whatever, and knows where you are coming from. But I've watched it on the plane. Yeah, you must be able to watch it. Yeah. I, well, my, my um, uh, dad. Uses my brother's Netflix account because oh, right, okay, he hasn't go. got um, yeah. movies, so sometimes he goes on yeah. Netflix. Nah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll get Net Netflix on Amazon Prime, can't I? So uh, I can yeah, use it on Netflix, so, yeah. and then um, use his password. Would you guys say it kind of makes sense for British locomotive to be on American soil? Since I want to bring a Q1 locomotive to my American. Model railway is that possible? Some say not. I think if you're into your trains or locomotives, um, things like that, and you want you've got a, a model railway, why not? Like stick them, yeah, yeah, just because it's a British one. I think it, um, oh, bless, bless Celeste, right? Yeah, well, I think I, I, we it's going to be new to us as well, Celeste. So I wouldn't worry about the um, whether it's spoilers or not. I, personally, I mean, I've, I haven't seen Stranger Things, and I'm not currently watching it. So it's more pretty more be unfair for Peter to get a spoiler rather than me. I can um, finish off um, the place if you could just help Anti SFM and just mention if it's a spoiler, and she can do what she needs to do. Yeah, because spoilers aren't good. I mean, you just ruin it. It's like in the cinema when you go to the cinema. I remember. You had that with Sixth Sense, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. The fact that maybe some people haven't seen Sixth Sense, I won't ruin it. But yeah, someone sat behind me and literally as the film started, they went, oh, I just. Boo, and oh, just blurted out the end. And I was like, oh, thanks. Just totally ruined it. Though, to be fair, it's still good films. So I didn't really, didn't really ruin it, but. Yeah, Stranger Things fan channel. Stranger Stranger Things is a Netflix original show, so it's only on on Netflix. 
Um, he says I should look into watching it. Um, Rusty Rocket says, "Can you guys model Bowser from Mario?" Yeah, that'd be cool one to do. Which one's Bowser? The big, big sort of turtle thing. It's turtle. Is he turtle. turtle or tortoise? Actually, I think it might be a tortoise. I'm not sure. Is he? A, yeah. Question for everyone: Is he a turtle? Yeah, it's or Bowser, a tortoise? turtle, or tortoise? Uh, Craven Skate says he sent us in some artwork for the gallery, which is great. Um, DJ KSG, I'm working on a Bubblegum Monsters song on FL Studio. Oh, awesome. By the way, I got my new program and 139 subs now. Nice. Well, oh, that's right because uh, KSG, if he got to 100 subs, yeah, yeah. his mum was going to buy him a new that's piece right. of software. So she did it. So um, that's that's great news, uh, KS, KSG. Um, um, I'm in the end of time and space in the beginning of the end and I'm in every creation what am I I'm in the end of time and space I'm in the beginning of the end and I'm in every creation what am I DNA I don't know it's probably a bit Bowser is King Cooper he's some kind of turtle monster not sure um, I don't know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise. That's the place. A turtle is in the water. It's amphibious. King of bees, I think, has guessed the answer to that riddle. Okay. It's time. All right. That would make sense. Uh, do you guys play Super Mario Odyssey? I haven't played. It. I haven't played a Mario game for years. Yeah. I think the last part one I played was on um, the Cube, the GameCube. That's how long ago it was. Course it is. Didn't we have? Something on um, uh, what was that called? Did the oh the Wii? The Wii, yeah. Did I have it on the Wii? I don't know. Did, did we have anything on it? I know we had Guitar Hero on the Wii. Yeah, I don't know if I because we, we we was playing that was that pulled up, weren't we? Playing that Guitar yeah, Hero yeah. on the Wii. Um, yeah, I don't know if I had um, Mario on the Wii. I can't. Even, yeah, I must have done. Maybe I did. Maybe it was Wii then. But yeah, I haven't played anything on... I haven't got a Wii U or anything like that, or whatever it's called. I'm so out of touch with computer games. I really, um, just, don't, just don't play them anymore. Uh, uh, Venando saying it's not time. Uh, Rusty Rocket's got Mario Odyssey. Um, it's meant, I think it's meant to be good. Golden Freddy's in the room. Hi, Golden hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, about the moderator thing... There's um, see, there's, there's some people who we have conversations with offline as well as online, and because we've got to know them, that's that's why it's easier to make them moderators because they know our sense of humour and what we can and can't get away with. So that's yeah. how we we've come to have moderators. Uh, we got the oh, I it's is that Greek or Russian? <laughs> See, this is where um, Rebecca's good because she will actually translate. Do translation. I think it's Russian. I, I have seen that before, and yes, because it says, "Do you remember me?" But I can't pronounce that show name. Um, and TSFM might be. Okay. Oh, um, Eric was saying, "Have you guys seen any steam locos in Britain?" I noticed that some of the most famous uh, trains in the world come from Britain, like the Flying Scotsman and M L R. Yeah, and recently, um, what was the train they've just uh, put? Uh, there was a steam train they just. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know. I've no idea what you're talking about. With all the carriages, the Pullman's uh, carriages, and it was on the news recently, and I think they'd managed to refurbish or do something with it. Orient Express? Ste- Not the Orient Express, no, but um, obviously that's another famous one. I think it. I can't remember what one it was. It was on the news recently. Ukraine. That's right. You're from Ukraine. Um, What's everyone think about the new iPhone? The iPhone X? Because I think Ben's... My brother's think I'm getting one. And I just said... Mm. There's a new iPhone? Yeah. yeah. Again? Guess how much it is. I thought it was all right. This one's about a £1,000. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the one. It's only oh, just that, come, it's only oh, just yeah. come out. Oh, right, okay. So, like, they was yeah, they, they had all the hype about it. Yeah. They hadn't actually come out when 
that from about a month ago. Because so, a mate of mine just bought the iPhone, not the iPhone, the, the iWatch. Watch. Yeah. I must admit, I was thinking about that. And I, it is wicked. Because I must admit, because I was, I was thinking about that when it first came out, but I thought, the thing is, you can't, you have to have your mobile with you all the time. I thought, what's the point of that? But now you don't. Um, oh God, what's that? P Fulcrum Q. Do you remember me? Oh, I'm Art Knight. Yes, we remember Art Knight. But you said, wait, why did you change your name to P Fulcrum Q? Um, yes, we give up Fernando. Uh, now that we're, we're having a row in here about whether it's Samsung or Apple. Oh, really? Yeah, Samsung is the best. I'm for Apple. I think because you've got an iPhone, haven't you? Yeah. But you're you're Mac'd up, aren't you? Your PC's Mac, your iPads are Mac. You know, everything's your Mac. Your up. iPads are Mac. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appled up. Sorry. Yeah. So you're you're all Appled up. Whereas I'm I more Windows based than Android based, and yeah. everything I've got is all. I think the problem with me is I as as much as I am sort of technical in a way, I hate. I just, I just, well, I think Apple have kind of lost their way a little bit, but I just found that they were so easy, the layout and stuff, it was just, it just made more sense to my brain, it just seemed to work. Like, I'll just, you know, just, oh yeah, that's how it would work. But with PC stuff, I always found it just seemed overly complicated a lot of the time. And so that's why I went with the Mac in the first place, because I just found it just more logical for how I think. Um... And then whenever I use sort of like a Samsung thing, I just find it, I don't know. But it is just, it's just training your brain, really, to use one or the other. I don't think, from a technical point of view, there's really any difference between them. I mean, there is, but they're always trying to outdo each other. And I, yeah. I think as long as you can do what you need to do on them. And the problem with iPhones and smartphones now is they've got to a point where, you know, like, unless some new bit of technology comes out that really advanced them, there isn't really that much I mean the thing they've been really pushing on that is the emoji thing where you you can look and it will put an emoji on your face and then it will, when you talk it will move and stuff it's like really that's that's the biggest deal to buy yeah one. I, I think a lot of it, it I would say I mean it's almost for the Facebook generation isn't it people who communicate via that way do you know what I'd be interested in knowing and in fact maybe a lot of our audience could answer this is how many people use Facebook? Because I don't, most, I don't think most young people use Facebook. I think you'll find that most people under the age of fifteen don't use Facebook. We can't get an account until thirteen. Yeah, but that's yeah. I mean, my cousin had one when he was about seven. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, if if you set up you set up an an, an account, you know, what I mean, you you need your peers to. Yeah, but um, I I don't think that's the reason why they're not using Facebook. I think it's more because everything's app based now, and I just don't think, I just don't think kids use Facebook. I think, I, do you know what? I hate Facebook. I hate it. Apps not just not just because of the whole so- social thing and the fact that you know there's this whole kind of argument of it's destroying society and people aren't talking to each other, thing, which I do agree with as well. And actually, I had this thought the other day. I thought it was quite it's it's almost ironic. I think how computers are getting more and more intelligent and more. Emotion, they're, they're sort of learning AI and becoming almost emotional, and we're becoming less and less emotional yeah. <laughs> through computers. Yeah. So we're just going to get to a point where we have no emotion, and computers do. But the reason why I just generally hate Facebook is I just I don't like Mark Zuckerberg. I just think he's from what when I watched that film and just some of the stuff he did, I thought you're an absolute not a nice person. No, and but, I just think from what I've heard, I just think they're they're full of lies. Some of the stuff they do. Right, there's that whole thing now about them listening in on your conversations and they, they definitely do they definitely listen in on conversation if your phone is active and you're talking about I don't know the, like a hard drive or something like that or it can be something really random that you've never spoken about before and suddenly you'll find you have adverts coming up on your Facebook account and stuff and they're like no it's just coincidence like no and then every, there's so many someone done a um, I think it was um, Philip DeFranco on YouTube had done a uh, the thing about it and the amount of people on their messages who were saying, no, I've had that, I've had that. And there's no, I've never spoken about this before. Like, well, we just happened to be talking about, I don't know what it was, they were talking about swimming pools or something. It's, I've never had any interest in swimming pools, never Googled swimming pools, then suddenly I had adverts for swimming pools. But they deny it. They say, no, I've never done that. And it's like, no, you have. They definitely have. That is interesting because I, I've had, because um, obviously I was quite active on Facebook 
last week or the run up to yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So I was on Facebook quite a bit. And yeah, I was getting these strange um, efforts. Scroll of thinking that's it was it was relevant to me, but I don't think I'd searched for it. Right. Oh, I have to go back and have a think how yeah. those things come around. Um, Chrome Skates on Facebook, though. Um, uh, the place is the place got it right actually. Venendo, he mentioned it. Um, it was the letter E, but thank you for the riddle. Um, uh, it's what kind of a. I've lost track of it. This is why anti SFM. Um, That's why we chose her as a as a moderator because she's keeping oh Derek's back from the dishes <laughs> um, people assume that time is a strict progression of cause and effect so that's too heavy for me to read it's freezing outside is it the same for you industrial range or fireworks are going off too who's going to a firework party tomorrow yeah I don't know because a lot of our audience are in the US aren't oh, they? that's true so, yeah House Builder, we've got Ukraine in here at the moment. We've got um, P Falk from Q and um, ATSM thinks it's Nicholas' show. Sorry. Um, she thinks that's Nicholas' show, but I, I, she doesn't know if that's right or not. Um, they're from the Ukraine, so they're having oh, right. a chat. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Cause at DJ KSG, I have a Mac and I have a PC. Right. Um, both uh, both are a beast, but the iPhone is just meh. So that's a, an interesting. If someone who's gone both ways, he's got something to compare it to. Oh. But um, uh, was it Stuart? That is situation which Vulcan to Yellowstone. Um, Yep, I've missed. I pretty that's pretty relevant a bit further out, and I've missed the the, the thread of that. Um, my teacher told me to have a good day, so I went home. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. That's from Rusty Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Rusty Rocket doesn't Rusty Rocket uh, always come up with the uh, the jokes? Uh, Scottish geeks. <laughs> uh, he's not very good with fireworks. Well, as in letting them off or getting scared watching them. <laughs> yeah. Um, doesn't mind watching them on TV, but in real life, no. I've had a bad experience oh, with really? a Roman candle and it put me off them. Um, we won't ask what you were doing with the Roman candle. Fernando is, wants to know if he can request a, a next bubblegum monster. So I can guess what it's going to be. But I think we were, we were talking about... We were, doing the, um, yeah, we were talking about the... What's it called? One, weren't we? The uh, Derek's one from the game. Oh, and, then, yes. and also there was that one um, Bowser as well a Bowser it's got weird sort of bony legs this thing oh the water line water line the, no the water fire line water line who is who again I'm Peter and I'm Stuart yeah. there you go Um Yeah, so I tell you what, that's, that's come on a long. It's getting there. I've, I've got right. loads to do on it, um, but anyway, it's it's good in there, I guess. But yeah, it's got kind of like really sort of skinny legs. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, DJ KSG says. Samsung actually made the new iPhone 10 screen. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I mean they all share technologies, don't they? Well, it, it was Samsung was up in court, wasn't it, by yeah. iPhone, by Apple because they they pinched the <laughs> stole the technology to pinch and zoom, oh, yeah. and they're saying, "Now hold on, we pinch and stretch." Right. It's you know what I mean it was it was a stretch to zoom rather than pinch to zoom, and it silly yeah, stuff. Um, Fernando Camroy has been asking since September. I know you you, uh, you are going to be after a My Little Pony, um, but we're going down different. We want to try and keep create, create original characters rather than um, do the same of ones we've done before. Just quickly do his feet. A bit. Is there one thing I can tell? 
if there's one thing I would like to tell you guys about your FNAF movie, why didn't Freddy play the Torridor March when the power ran out? It always plays when that happens in the first game. Um, well, we'll let you into a little secret. And the secret is, we only started playing the game about like two weeks before we were filming it. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. we, uh, we just started to look it up. We didn't even know anything about FNAF before that. So we tried to get as much of it as accurate as possible. But yeah, we were learning new things afterwards because obviously those people were pointing out those sort of things. Um, but yeah, most of it I think we got right. The other thing that people always pick up on, um, but we actually did that on purpose, was the foxy thing. And it was six after 6 a.m. And they were like, you know, you can't attack. But it's like, well, you need a bit of artistic license because we wanted that to, um, sort of like element of surprise at the end. And also, the fact is, the clock could have changed a bit, or maybe because he's in the office still and locked in there, he doesn't get deactivated. There's so many, so many things you could argue yeah, against. So it, it's just artistic license. Yeah, yeah. They just want the dick to work a certain way. Uh, can we at least put it on the list? If we ever get stuck one day to what to model, yes, Fernando, I promise we'll do another My Little Pony. Uh, my new song is Electro House Arcade. That's DJ KSG. Are you doing it for us? Oh, you are, because you just said you was making a new song for us, weren't you? I'm just trying to look what he's... He's got really weird feet. He's got like, two toes. Oh, if you've got a request for a different character, Fernando, please let us know. Yeah, because we're always up we're always up for different ideas. I mean, we've, yeah. we've had... Um, I said, today we've had Bowser as one. I know that we've got to... Um, uh, finish off Pennywise and we're going to do Derek's one yep yeah we've got loads um, loads right I'm going to have to just finish this off now Eric Ramirez going. says you've got to do your research I think he's referring to the FF movie I think it was researched quite yeah, a bit the, by the thing is you got to remember well you don't have to remember because you probably weren't there <laughs> at the time when we were doing it but it wasn't planned to be this sort of like big movie release thing. It wasn't meant to be like this is going to be the ultimate FNAF movie. It no, was, it was. Let, what can we do for Halloween? We yeah. To, this this thing called FNAF. Let's look into that. People seem to like that. We've got a month to make it. Let's make it in a month. Massive rush. Turns out it took us six months to make, but the actual script and filming it all was all within that month, really. Mm-hmm. So it kind of um, it, it 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 was kind of rushed, really rushed, and. Even afterwards, we were like, oh, if only we'd done that, if only we'd done that. So, yeah, we, you know, if we were going to do a proper film, which we are we're still working on the second one, but that's why it's taking so long because we're trying to research everything. But the first one was never meant to be any of any kind of detail to it. I, I, to be fair, I don't, don't well, certainly at, at the time, I didn't expect that film to have such a following or get as big no. as, it, as it did. I mean, we, we, were, we were hoping we might get a few sort of like 20,000 views or something like that didn't we yeah I mean because uh, the, 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 I mean we even did Pokemon sketches and we get we've been slated for that saying oh you can't catch Jigglypuff without using a certain ball we're thinking it was just a comedy sketch well, Jigglypuff just, Mew oh Mew sorry yeah oh there you go <laughs> you know um and that's that's what we're about. I mean, to be honest, uh, anti SFM. Hey guys, uh, what characters are up for sale with the models? Because I can get one for Christmas. Um, oh yeah, well, yeah, that might be you, haven't, you haven't been pushing that, have you, Stuart? You need to push that more. No, it's uh, mainly because it's PayPal, and if you're under eighteen, you haven't got access to PayPal. Well, and you looking into another way of doing it though? It, no, it always go. Yeah, I could do it another way, but it still comes back uh, to PayPal. Okay. So you're using another shopping cart, but your shopping cart needs to use right. PayPal. So, um, yeah, the, the only thing I, I can actually think of doing is, is actually, I mean, like, for example, I, I mean, we've, we've got a bubblegum monster shop, um, and nothing's been sold through that. That's doing well, then. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's... So what's your answer to Celeste, then? Um... Yeah, I mean, I suppose I suppose they're they're pretty much, with the exception of the willow, they are all up for sale. And I have I have done the vlog in that. And if you if you want one, then you just have to um, e- email us. Um, 
and then we can uh, try to try to sort it out if, but you do need access to PayPal uh, bubblegummonsters at gmail.com and just put model in the um, subject line and we have a look at doing it for you old Pennywise and new Pennywise industrial angel is saying uh, uh, new, new new Pennywise um, uh, right well let's um Let's call this a day for now. It's obviously not finished, I know, guys. Um, but I, I don't want to hold you up, Stuart, because I know yes, you've got to go. Yes, yeah, I've got, I've got uh, a dinner engagement. So we're kind of getting there. The main shape's there. The hands still got to be done. And I've then got to add in the proper muscle groups and everything. But at least I've got your sort of mouth kind of scary-looking plant-type thing. I need to add some like teeth in there as well because... He has these little spots, which you could actually use this little snake hook thing, which is quite cool. Uh, there you go, snake hook. And you can just kind of pull things out like that, maybe. Or maybe not that big, maybe a bit smaller. Not that small. There you go. So you can do kind of teeth like that. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare to 3D print. Oh, okay. No, but it's good. Okay, you got to do it. Because okay. that's the thing that's always been a challenge. I'm actually thinking about this. There's in, um, some software. Uh, you can, uh, which makes 3D well gives you much more um, more tools to use right and helps with structures and where you want to place them and how you want them to behave okay um, I am think I think about buying that but it's uh, I think it's a, it's not a lot it's about 149 quid or something right. it's not massive but it's another 149 quid um Okie dokie, right. Uh, oh, we're, we're back on that screen now. Yeah. Um, so Monday will be um, a uh, tips and tricks on still on the animation. I think we're on. I don't know what the next one is. Let me have a look here, quick. Uh, what was your, your last one? I'm trying to remember. Look. It was. Uh, principles of animation. Uh, what was the next one? Twelve principles of animation. So the next one, so I did. Oh, what one did I do last? Yeah, I, I, I should better find, find it on. here. Well, we might do. Let's do follow through and overlapping action. Yeah. It might be straight ahead action and post to pose, maybe the last one was. Anyway, yeah, we'll do that. Ta da, Eric. Thank you very much. For Monday. So um, that'll be Monday. I usually read that a bit later, usually about 8 o'clock on Monday. So, uh, our builders say our names should be swapped. You should be. You look more like a Stuart, and I look more like a Peter. Okay. Mm. Uh, oh, Industrial Angel was referring to the amalgamate idea I had. Uh, Craven Skate was suggesting Kermit the Frog. That's quite a cool one. That is quite good. I used to about do his voice. Did you? Go yeah, on. he's about. I, I don't know if I, I can do it anymore. You gotta um, give it a go now. So let's get recording. Oh, get no. your video well, recording. I, I, I need to hear it. Just, um, but I yeah, I'll, I'll find Kermit the Frog for you. And you can have your headphones. There you go. Yeah, no, it's... Um... Oh, God. I, I can't remember what I used to say. Because it goes really well. Well, I think... I, I thought it was really well. There you um, go, Stuart. Put, go and put your headphones on. Yeah, put, put the headphones on. You get... Is that right? Um. Maybe it wasn't Kermit I could do. Oh, <laughs> Stuart, you're you just chickening out. No, no, I'm trying to think which one it was. We shouldn't have said um. it. Come on, hurry up! This isn't very yeah, entertaining. I, I'll have to. I'll, you have to remind me another day, and then I'll, I'll have to see which one it is. But it, it was. Was it? Um, was it? Kermit the Frog. I could do, or it was. It involved his name in it. I'm trying to remember. Is that? No, but I can't. I can't remember what it. It is. That does sound like another Muppet. I'm trying to think. That is. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> right. Um, uh, Scottish Geeks is off to do his stream. Um, 
and mentioned that I came uh, said oh thank you Stuart for coming over to the Bendy Hello Neighbour crossover string the other day it was really good I actually enjoyed um, it uh, Derek it was a shame that my daughter came home after a week she'd been away for a week and I couldn't stay to see the, you, the second half of it are you saying it's a shame your daughter came home after a week you'd rather she'd never come yeah, home yeah exactly <laughs> um Stuart, um, how about Discord? He's from My Little Pony 2, but he's not a pony. Maybe. We're trying to um, uh, think that he's suggesting the, the models we can yeah. do. Tr- try and steer away from My Little Pony. See if you can come up with some, some others. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah, so and I'll try and release that video of the shortened Halloween over the next few days as well. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe by Wednesday, Wednesday next week, we'll release a short version. If you missed out on it and you want to see the Halloween video we did, there'll be a short version to watch. I did notice that some people still managed to find the unlisted one because it was going I think up. it may have been because it had a link to it from when it went live, so people could click on that still. Uh, maybe, right, right, yeah, maybe. Um, Powerpuff Girls is a suggestion from Venendo. Okay, there you go. So that's a nice one to yeah. uh, end the stream on. So, till next time. Yep. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye bye.